I'm working on this uh, Marvel project. It is uh, trying to handle uh, multimodal and extreme scale data in order to perform AI analytics at uh, different levels of uh, computing uh, capability to specifically uh, serving for smart city. So we will have the data coming from already installed ambient, uh, let's say CCTV cameras or microphones in the urban environment. And the data will come to a small edge device, do some processing already over there. And some data will pass through even a middle layer, we call it fog layer. And then some processing will handle, be, be handled over there securely, of course. And then uh, uh, other further AI analytics, more powerful one, will go to the cloud. So everything in theory should be uh, um, able to perform on real time so that it can provide the situation awareness to the, um, let's say, police, these uh, law enforcement entities, so that they can, uh, uh, if they receive alert, they can immediately investigate or further even um, you know, kind of prevent any um, further things or provide a quick enough response. So in general, the thing is to try to provide a better sense of security to the citizens. My, my role in the project is, uh, first of all, coordinating the efforts of, the, uh, of FPK um, within Marvel. We have three research groups of the Digital Society Center involved, uh, SpeechTech, the group that I am leading, uh, DVL and uh, E3DA. We are working on the, the voice randomization task in order to preserve the privacy of the, the citizens. And also we are collaborating, tightly collaborating with uh, the group uh, E3DA group on uh, AI processing uh, at the edge. When people are uh, thinking about uh, data coming from CCTV cameras or mics installed around you, people always uh, be very concerned about their um, privacy or ethics related issue. So in, let's say, our role, FPK role, my role in particular is leading the uh, task for privacy preservation. And uh, what we're trying to do is that um, all the faces detected or the speech detected will be, uh, we will exploit the uh, modern uh, um, generative model to swap your face or your voice to another identity that nobody will reveal your real identity in order to protect you. For the future, we are uh, already uh, planning towards extending uh, Marvel, pushing it a little bit forward, uh, also in collaboration with some of the core partners of the, the current project. And uh, basically there are two directions that uh, we are willing to exploit. Uh, the first one is to try to deliver uh, AI algorithms which are uh, more flexible in order to be uh, easily portable in other application domains, not just smart cities. The other one, um, which we are targeting for multiple directions actually, is to make the AI algorithms energy and resource aware so that they can make a, a more efficient, a better use of the computational resources uh, available. So for example, one thing is to try to make them smaller in order to make them run on IoT devices, on edge devices, which are like energy neutral, uh, or to make them uh, um, capable of adjusting uh, their computational requirements given the context so that you minimize the use of energy that, 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 that they need or, I mean, if they need to use more energy, they do, but they don't do it uh, always.